On November 5th, the people in this building behind me are going to bring back the full force of U.S. unilateral sanctions against Iran. This is why the Supreme Leader of Iran calls the U.S. Treasury Department America's war room. Sanctions have already had a massive impact on the Iranian economy, and the reason for it is the power of this, the greenback. Six months ago, one of these could buy you one of these, a 50,000 Iranian rial, but now you need three of these to buy one of these. The Trump administration at the White House over there is hoping that these sanctions will bring Iran to its knees, or at least would curb its influence in the region. This is a dangerous gambit because the Iranians believe that they can outweigh the Trump administration and withstand the pressure. So at the end, this is a contest of wills. And the danger here is if sanctions are as effective as the Trump administration is hoping for, the Iranians might at some stage decide to either withdraw from the nuclear agreement and revive their nuclear program, or retaliate in the region by going after U.S. assets in the region. If sanctions are not as effective, then it's possible that U.S. allies in the region might try to provoke a confrontation between U.S. and Iran, so to weaken an adversary that they have not been able to contain over the past few years. And that's why we at Crisis Group are worried that this policy is only going to add fuel to the fires that are already burning throughout the region.